In a paper published in Ultrasound and Obstetrics and Gynecology on March 7, 2017, Vaginal progesterone was found to reduce preterm birth, neonatal morbidity, and death in twin gestations and a short cervix. Compared to single gestations, twin gestations have a five-fold increase in the rate of preterm birth. In singleton gestations, a short cervix detected by transvaginal ultrasound is a powerful predictor of preterm birth. In this group of women, vaginal progesterone has been shown to reduce the rate of preterm birth and neonatal morbidity and mortality. In a systematic review and meta-analysis of individual patient data, vaginal progesterone was compared to placebo in women with a singleton gestation and a short cervix, and reduced the rate of preterm birth by 44% at less than 33 weeks, by 49% at less than 28 weeks, and by 33% at less than 35 weeks. Moreover, vaginal progesterone compared to placebo reduced the rate of respiratory distress syndrome by 53%, composite neonatal morbidity and mortality by 41%, and NICU admissions by 33%. When asymptomatic women with twin gestations develop a short cervix between 20 and 24 weeks, they have a high risk for preterm delivery. The risk is 42% at less than 32 weeks and 62% at less than 34 weeks. The question of the current study was, can vaginal progesterone reduce the rate of preterm birth and adverse neonatal outcomes in women with twin gestations in a short cervix? This meta-analysis included six trials of 303 women and their 606 infants. 144 women received placebo or no treatment, while 159 received vaginal progesterone capsules. As demonstrated by the Blue Diamond, women allocated to receive vaginal progesterone had a significantly lower risk of preterm birth at less than 33 weeks than those allocated to placebo or no treatment. The rate of preterm birth less than 33 weeks was 43% with placebo or no treatment compared to 31% with vaginal progesterone. In neonates, vaginal progesterone significantly reduced respiratory distress syndrome by 30%, birth weight less than 1,500 grams by 47%, need for mechanical ventilation by 46%, and most importantly, neonatal death by 47%. In conclusion, for women with a twin gestation and a short cervix, vaginal progesterone reduced the rate of preterm birth, neonatal morbidity, and mortality. This paper is freely available at the website of the Journal of Ultrasound and Obstetrics and Gynecology.